Hello, my name is Robert Kiyosaki, and I'm best known for a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which I published in 1997, and it has been on the New York Times bestseller list and bestseller list all over the world for, I think, nearly seven years, which is, if I may say so myself, quite an accomplishment. My other book, the latest book that just came out in 2008, is How to Increase Your Financial IQ, and in these economic, you know, volatile times, I really think increasing this, your number one asset, your IQ is especially important today. So what I'm going to be talking to you about is something I call the new rules of money. And before I go into the new rules, I'll just explain why they're new rules. The rules of money changed first in 1971 when President Nixon took us off the gold standard and second in 1974 when ERISA was passed. And ERISA now is known as a 401k. The reason ERISA is so important or 1974 is so important it meant to all employees that you no longer had a paycheck for life. The company was not going to take care of you for the rest of your life. So 1974 meant you had to now sort of save and invest enough money so that you could afford to pay yourself a paycheck for the rest of your life. So that's why after 1971 and 1974, the rules of money changed. So before I go into the new rules, I'd like to go into the old rules. Prior to 1971, the old, the old rules were Go to school. Get a safe, secure job. The second was work hard to earn more money. Three, save money. Four, buy a house. Five, get out of debt. Six, invest for the long term. And in most people's cases, they invest in mutual funds. And seven, diversify. So those are the old rules, and when I talk to even young people today, people under 20 years old, they still the same, same thing. I'm going to school, I've got a safe, secure job, I'm going to work hard to make a lot of money, I'm going to save money, I'm going to buy a house, I'm going to get out of debt, I'm going to invest for the long term in mutual funds, and I'm going to diversify. Those are the old rules. What I'm going to go into today are the new rules, and again, the new rules came in after 1971 and 74. So let me talk about the new rules. Let's take this word here, school. Before 1971 and 1974, you could just go to school and get a job and all those types of things. But today, after 1971 and 74, people need to know you need more education than the school systems provide. For example, you know, one type of education our schools provide for is a thing called academic, and I don't, I don't spell very well, so I misspelled something, let me know. But academic means reading, writing, and arithmetic. That's very important. Uh, rule number two you have to learn in school is professional. So, you know, do I, after I graduate from high school or college or whatever it is, do I go on to law school or to go to trade school, become a plumber, or to learn to be a, a web, webmaster, whatever it is. So it's academic and professional education. This is also very important. Our schools do a pretty good job of that. The third type of education that's important, after 1971 and 74, the third is financial education. And this is why people are in financial trouble today. Because our school systems have very little, if any, financial education. And the only kind of financial education many school teachers are teaching kids is stuff they know, which is get a safe, secure job, work hard, save money, get out of debt, invest in a house, and invest in mutual funds. That is inadequate financial education today. And the Rich Dad Company is an educa edu educational company that provides financial education appropriate to these times. So that's the first set of new rules. The new rule is after 1971 and 74, we all need more financial education and invest in our greatest asset, our minds, or increasing our financial IQ. So the advantage I had in my life was my poor dad was an academic guy. He was a PhD, head of education. He's a great, great guy. I love him dearly. But as you know, you know, since we don't teach much about financial education, people are in financial trouble today. And that's where my rich dad kicked in. My rich dad thought this was very important, and my poor dad thought this was very important. So that's the difference between rich dad and poor dad. And one more thing, the reason I apologize for my spelling is even though my dad was the head of education for the state of Hawaii, he had me as his son, which kept them humble. And I flunked out of high school twice because I could not spell. 
You know, so I'm not very good at academically. In fact, I'm not good to all of this stuff, but it's a combination of these three types of education that are essential today in this new economy, this new set of rules in the world.